When you're looking for pine martens, probably the most important thing to have is, well, pine trees. This stand of Scots pine on Sleeve Gullion in South Armagh is a perfect habitat for the cat-sized carnivore. But the elusive pine martin was supposed to be rare and reserved to our western counties. Until, that is, a survey by Queen's University found them all over the place. Volunteer conservationists were used to identify sites. Then camera traps were put up opposite squirrel feeders. The pine martens popped up in every county in Northern Ireland at 50 of the 250 sites surveyed. There seems to be hot spots right around the country for them. So the glens of Antrim, the Moran Mountains, South Armagh, the area that we're in at the moment, um, South Tyrone, the Sperrins. We've picked up pine martens in all of these locations and more. Um, so they're a bit more widespread than we've, we've previously thought, but to be honest, we haven't properly looked before. The camera traps were visited every week and the resulting images were fed back to academics. It wasn't always pine martens or squirrels that turned up. First, a sparrow hawk swung by. In other places, a seeker deer tripped the camera beam. And of course, that other great native survivor, the fox, was spotted on several occasions. The work couldn't have been done without the help of 70 volunteer conservationists who were the backbone of the project. When we got something, it was very exciting. It was great. A lot of the time, we just got wood mice. That was funny as well, because... They came in the dark and all you could see was eyes. The resurgence of the pine martin may be good news for one of our most loved mammals, the red squirrel. That's because reds, like pine martens, are native species, so the red understands the danger that the predator poses. Greys, on the other hand, are visitors here, may be a lot more naive and may present an easier meal. So, good news then for the smarter reds. Although, just to prove that they're not that smart, Here's one coming a cropper. Connor McCauley, BBC Newsline.